Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today I thought I would challenge myself and see if I can bake a cake in the Gosney Dome. This is a mud cake that I'm using and I have the recipe in the description box for you guys. It's a recipe that I have shared before, it's my foolproof one and I absolutely love it. I'll be baking one cake in a regular oven and another cake in the Gosney Dome. I'm combining all of my wet ingredients in a saucepan with the chocolate letting it melt and then adding in the sugar. You want to temper your eggs, so even a bit of a whisk, and add in your melted ingredients in a steady stream, whisking as you go. Basically, you want to bring the eggs slowly up to temperature so that when you add it to the remaining mixture, the heat from the mixture doesn't cook your eggs. You could also just allow this to cool for 20 minutes as well. Once that's all combined into a bowl or a static mixer she goes with your dry ingredients and then stir everything to combine. I have my two six inch cake tins that are three inches tall lined with baking paper. This video is technically sponsored because I did receive the dome free of charge to test out. Having said that though 100% of everything I say here is my own truthful opinion and I have not been paid to say anything um, just to have some fun with the dome basically. We're going to add this in to about three quarters of the way. And do the same for your other six inch cake tin. And then with the indoor oven preheated at 180 degrees, I'm going to pop one of these cakes in so we can compare it later to the Gosney Dome. I like to cover my cake tins in aluminum foil just to make sure that the cake rises evenly, maintains a steady temperature inside the cake tin, and it just creates less caramelization as well. The Gosney Dome I preheated to about 400 degrees Celsius. I popped on the door and I closed the chimney and let that cool down to about 350 degrees. At that point, I like to add my cake in the center on a tray because the stone will be hot and I just wanted to create a bit more height from the stone so it didn't um, burn on the base. After a good 40 minutes, rotate your cake you may need to reheat your oven I did need to um, so back up to about 300 degrees and then I pop my cake back in when it was about 270 leave it in there for another 20 minutes or so and then check in the center to make sure that the toothpick or a knife comes out clean once it was done I allowed both cakes to cool down for about 20 minutes and then these are the results can you guys guess which one came out of the regular oven and which one came out of the Gosney? I'll have you know, I was very surprised with the results of this one. I don't know if it's because the oven is so much bigger than my indoor oven and so the heat is distributed somehow more evenly, but the one on the left is actually the Gosney, so it's less caramelized, it baked through evenly, and it was really, really moist. One thing I'm noticing about baking in the Gosney Dome is that they are coming out a lot more moist, and you definitely have to play around with the temperature. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this little experiment was as fun for you as it was for me. Huge thank you to Gosney for sponsoring this video and supplying the Gosney Dome for us to try out. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you'd like to check them out. Thanks so much and we'll see you in the next one.